Hello, young man. Today we will be discussing about the reversing of the main engine. Well, how does this start with? It starts with the turning of the main engine by air, that is by the starting air, initially by the compressed air and after that it is stopped and the fuel is given when the engine has reached a certain momentum. If it is in a sequence, in a particular sequence for one for one direction, then for the reverse direction, it is necessary that the air to the cylinders should be given in the reverse sequence so that the engine can turn in the reverse direction. So, this admitting of the air to the cylinders is controlled by opening of the starting airs which is again controlled by the pilot airs it is which is coming from the distributor this this distributor is it is of something of this shape here as you can see that at the center it is getting a starting air and this will go to the individual units as named here so this was in the number 1 2 so this was in the number 1 this for number 5 this for 3 this for 6 2 and 4 so this, this is the normal firing order in the ahead direction. So, what is the mechanism here? The important point to be noted is that during reversing, the sequence of the opening of the starting airs has to be changed. And that is changed by controlling and that controlling is given by the pilot airs that is which is being distributed by this distributor and this distributor is made in such a way that the one it is getting the at the center it is getting the air and this air is either going to this passage or to this passage. This is for the ahead rotation and this is for the external rotation. And then this position has to be changed for the different commands that is for the ahead and external. As it can be seen here as it can be seen that this circular ring inside it is rotated by a pin connected to a piston and cylinder arrangement which gets the air during the reversing this is the reversing cylinder this is when the engine is to be run in the air direction and this air here is given when it is to be turned in the extend direction. If it is to be reversed then this air will be stopped and the extend direction air will come and push back the piston to this end. So then what happens? This central plate it changes its position and thereby the passage which is connected to the main availability of the air it is 
one of the, one of the only the one of the passages are connected. So in either of the conditions, only one of these passages are connected. So in either of the conditions, in either of the system, only one, this one or this one is connected to the air supply. So it gets air in the either of the directions. And this is done by the reversing cylinder as shown below here. And about the fuel can and the exhaust valve cams, they are reversed in two different modes as in BMW and in Surger. In BMW engines, what is done is that the fuel cams they they are not the camshaft is not turned initially. So how it is how the firing takes place in the reverse order? In BMW engines, what happens is that this is the camshaft. And this is the shape of the cam on the camshaft. So here now as can be seen here the BMW engines they provide a different kind of cam shape. That is the what we call it is a apple cam or the negative cam. Here it is depressed and during the rest of the motion it is the roller is on the top. So here what happens is that during reversing now reversing takes place by this cylinder because this cylinder piston arrangement is having two airs. This is for the instant air here, and one more air is air is at the back. This is for the air running. Now the fuel pump is in the for the air running, and when the engine is reversed, air in the this instant line comes and pushes the piston back and this in turn what happens is that the roller comes and sits on this side. So now if we give the air, the external air, it will not turn because on in the process of turning it will need an upper movement which is not possible here because the roller is only already in the top position because the shape of the cam is like that. So how it will reverse? It will reverse only when it gets a space. That means when this when this negative when this depression portion comes to this place, then it will get a extra movement in the downward direction and so this roller can change the position to this place and become in the eastern order. That means the all the full pump camps are not reversed in the same time because all the rollers will not be in the base here. Then how the reversing takes place? As the engine turns by, starts to turn 
either in the head or nostril direction. Then, if the cap is already in the right position, then it will be there. And if it is reversed, then the reversing is possible only when this depressed portion is reaching by turning of the engine, turning the camshaft by the engine. And this portion comes here and this roller then gets a extra distance to travel down. And in some other engines like the Sergeant engines, what it does is that here the fuel pump rollers are moved for the new angles. Say this is a different angle. This would be a different angle. Then the soldier engines, what they do is that instead of the cams, instead of the rollers changing of positions, the camshaft itself changes its position in the angular, angular position. So the camshaft is rotated in the soldier engines. If this portion of the this camshaft at this place is able to be turned, then the angle will change for the either for the head or the external direction. Camshaft portion, so the camshaft portion left to this side, it is turned at this point. So this point is called the, this assembly is called the lost motion clutch. And how it works is that, this is connected to the crankshaft with gears, this one, or by the chain. This one is connected to the camshaft. This is connected to the camshaft. So the rotation of this is control. It can be seen that this inner ring, it can take two positions. One is this one shown by the solid lines and another is as shown by these dotted lines. And that is controlled by giving the hydraulic oil with pressure. Now, if the oil is given here, it will be resting against this end and the angle will be this one. And if the oil is given to this place from this side, How this re reversing is possible? With the oil is given here, then pushes this bar onto this end, rests on this end. And consider for the situation if the oil is if the oil is given to this position, then it will push this plate, it will push this plate to this end. And so 
then the angle of the plate will be varied and the angle will be different for this cam shaft. So in this way the whole of the cam shaft is rotated by this cross motion clutch. The angle by which it turns is called the lost motion angle. It is it is the these two angles, this angle and this angle, this angle and this angle. This is the angle of lost motion. And that is how the camshaft is turned in a subject engine. And once the camshaft has been turned, the, the distribution, the distributor, distributor is already reversed and it starts to give air in the reverse direction and as it gains the momentum the air will be the fuel will be as it gains the momentum by air air is stopped and the fuel is given to the engine and it starts to rotate in the reverse direction. <laughs>